Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer channel episode and in today's episode we are going to be reviewing and taking a look at a Daily Mail online article which is listed and posted in the female section written by Martha Cliff on the 8th of March 2018 and let's go straight into it and start with the headline which reads Party at the Palace. The Queen dazzles in a fuchsia ball gown as she holds a glittering reception to celebrate the Aga Khan's Diamond Jubilee. And she even carries a gold Lorna handbag. Wow, and I'm hoping you can all see those amazing, fantastic photographs of the Queen looking absolutely radiant and glowing in this dazzling fuchsia outfit. And we will get to the outfit a little bit later. So let's read the bullet points. The Queen welcomed guests to a reception at Windsor Castle on Thursday. The event was held in celebration of the Aga Khan's Diamond Jubilee. Following the drinks reception, the monarch will host the royal at a private dinner. It continues. We are used to seeing Her Royal Majesty. Her Royal Majesty? It's usually, typically Her Majesty, the Queen, in a uniform of conservative suits. But tonight she delighted royal fans as she slipped into a dazzling ball gown. Now, I will agree that it was indeed dazzling. The Queen welcomed dignitaries to Windsor Castle for a glittering reception on Wednesday evening and did so in a hot pink dress. The 91-year-old monarch looked elegant in a floor-length silk gown, complete with gold motifs, as she welcomed guests to the white drawing room. From this photograph, we can quite clearly see that the Queen is enjoying herself talking to guests, including Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall. The evening was held in celebration of the Diamond Jubilee of the Aga Khan's leadership as Iman of the Shia Ismaili Muslim community. Following the drinks reception, the monarch will host the royal at a private dinner at the castle. As well as her eye-catching dress, the Queen also opted for another unusual fashion choice this evening. The Royal abandoned her traditional black leather Lorna handbag, which she carries on almost every occasion, in favour of a metallic gold take on the designer piece. She coordinated the quirky accessory with a pair of matching gold court shoes, which could be seen peeking from the hem of her dress. Um, and I'm hoping, if I press this button, we can actually zoom in on the handbag, um, which does look absolutely phenomenal. And it goes brilliantly with the gold motifs on the gown um, and, of course, the diamond jewellery accessories that she's wearing. She just looks absolutely stunning in that outfit. The Queen is, in fact, wearing the King Khalid diamond necklace. Guests at this evening's reception included the Duchess of Cornwall, although the Prince of Wales was not in attendance. Camilla looked her elegant best in a floor-length black velvet dress as she spent time chatting with the Queen and her guests. Her daughter, Princess Anne, could also be seen in attendance, dressed in a glamorous green ensemble. So far, I haven't really disagreed with anything in this article. Most of it, you know, so far is pretty factual, if not a little bit sensationalist, which, of course, all uh, print and online journalism tends to be. Uh, but take that out of the equation and actually... I quite like this article and it is giving me quite a lot of factual information. Okay, so I'm going to carry on um, looking, of course, at the Queen in her gorgeous gown. And it really is stunning. And let's just take a little close-up look. Let's go as close as I can. Um, so, of course, let's start from the head. Her hair looks absolutely immaculate. And, of course, we have the jewellery that she's wearing and the gold handbag. The golden handbag is just stunning. And I'm just scanning down the gown. And there we can see, we can see the gold shoes poking out. Wow, it really does look absolutely stunning. So let's return to the article. Um, it says Camilla looked her elegant best, uh, which I think she did. Um, and we have seen this gown that Camilla was wearing on a previous occasion too, I do recognise it. The Aga Khan, spiritual leader of the Ismaili branch of Shiite Islam, opened a year-long jubilee to mark his 60th anniversary in July last year. Throughout the Diamond Jubilee year, the Aga Khan will travel to countries where the network operates to launch new programmes to alleviate poverty and increase access to financing for housing, education and childhood development. The network said. Um, so yes, let's just scan up and take in those amazing photographs one last time. I would like you to let me know in the comment section below what you think about the Queen's outfit. If you have enjoyed this video, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Thank you for watching this video. 
If you have enjoyed it, then please leave a like, comment and share on social media. Don't forget to subscribe for all the latest channel uploads. From me in Shropshire, goodbye.